must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild today. For you guys, as always, hope you're having a great day wherever you guys are. We took one day off yesterday to sort of recharge and now we are ready to go. Oh man, so we just cleared out this awesome Bokoblin camp in the last episode. There's literally three Bokoblin camps. Okay, Cookie, you're just so lazy. You can't even walk like 10 feet over here. You have to teleport with your fancy armor. Alright. We actually do need to give uh, Cookie the rest of the armor that we have. Let's summon in some more here. Get Wolf Link in here. So, let's see. I was actually kind of excited to see what's over here. And a shrine is over here as well. Alright. Oh. We have a couple dudes on floating platforms. Maybe I gotta climb up up top so I can fly down on there. Probably gonna have to leave you behind, Cookie. We're going climbing. Oh man. Climbing! I would like to get the uh, the climber's armor as well at some point. I don't remember where it is though. I know it's in a uh, the climber's like chest piece. And, and leggings? I, are there leggings? I think there is a whole climber set. I just don't remember where the other parts are. I think one part is over here in a shrine somewhere, like in the snowy mountains over there. I, I think I remember that. But the other piece, I have no idea. I don't remember at all. It's kind of fun playing a game like this that has so many secrets and things to, to do and see. Like, beat the game and then play it again because there's so many things that... You think you remember, but you don't. That one has a metal chest, and this one doesn't, so I'm just gonna... Oh. I can't even aim straight down. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is my platform now. A diamond! Ooh. Is that my first diamond? I think it is. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do, but... Ooh, it actually worked out. Can I magnesis this thing? Come on. Come on. So close. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can. Are you kidding me? It's so close. I don't want to fall off the edge either. Maybe if I stand on this, on this pole. Huh. <laughs> oh man, come on, that's probably a really good weapon or something. We have to get that chest. Actually, I could let it fall into the river, then Magnesis that. I think I'm gonna have to. Ooh, look at that dragon. Whoa, that's not Farosh, that's a different one too. Amazing. Wait, I didn't even see it splash! Hold on, it did just disappear, right? Okay. Dang, it's still kind of far down there. Oh, come on, Link. I hate it when you, like, jump and he doesn't jump forward. He just jumps straight up. Alright. Are you... Well, guys, this chest may be a lost cause. I don't... I'm trying to jump off the edge and he thinks I want to grab it. Now I understand the frustrations of when Zomor was trying to control Link in this game. Yes! We got it! We got it! Alright, what is it? Oh! Royal Guard Claymore Durability Plus? Well, you guys wanted me to get the Royal Claymore. I don't think you're thinking about this one, but... Oh, look at that blade. Dang. 
And the Royal Claymore actually has low durability, but this one, this one, my friends, has durability plus. So we are fine on that department. Probably means it has about the same durability as a regu regular Claymore, I would imagine. Alright. Now, what have we here? We have some bomb barrels. The shrine sensor is just going berserk. Man, are you kidding me? That should have broken. We got a Korok thingy right here. Alright. Let's get Korok. Whoa! Way up there? Alright. You wanna play this game? Oh, come on. So close. Oh, hi, big boys. Getting a little bit interrupted. Whoa, I just saw a flying dude. Whoa, he's coming pretty close. Hold up. Yeah, you better back off. Dang, I didn't realize how close we're getting to the castle. Even, even Wolfling's like, I'm gonna hang out back here. Actually, you just stay right there because he'll mess up my targeting on this. Um, we're gonna have to redo that bomb. Can you not bomb jump right here? I'm pretty sure it should work. Oh yeah. Easy! Oh, that's one way to do it. That's the uh, Zum way to do things right there. Pretty sure you're supposed to walk all the way up the bridge or whatever, but... Pfft. That's for rookies. Alright. Uh, let's see. I actually don't really have any heavy weapons to break these crates with, which is kind of unfortunate. Every big heavy weapon I have, I don't really want to use. Well, guess we're bombing it. Give me that apple. Huh, that hot, <laughs> piping hot apple. Five arrows, alright. I'm trying not to die because I do have low health, but at the same time, I see some crates. I gotta bomb them, you know? Grab the arrow, grab the amber, grab the flint over here. Now the shrine should be around here. Let's just eat a little bit just so I don't die by random events. Seems to happen quite often. What have we got? Death 14? 13? Something like that. Ooh. Alright, I think I think we found where the shrine is. Don't do it! At least he's efficient. Alright, alright, alright. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. You you did good. You're protecting your master. Here you go. No? You don't want the, the apples? Alright, so this looks like it's completely sealed off. Unless you have a bomb arrow. Oh, that looks so cool. Wait. I'm burning! I wanted to fly up. Guess not. Alright, we're climbing up. Wolf Link, you made me waste those apples. Come on, man. Oh no, he just ate one, I think. <laughs> it's like he heard me. Alright, so we got some more bomb barrels, some boxes. At least in here the, the stuff won't go flying. Some baked apples, I don't mind. A roasted acorn. Some arrows, I don't know what just got incinerated. Hey, a green rupee too. I 
I'm getting so many arrows. Alright. Let's check out the shrine. Wait, nothing behind the shrine? Nothing... Nah, nothing behind the shrine. Ooh, a red rupee. Hold it. Hold it. Another arrow. Alright, now let's check out the shrine. Wolf Link is getting very restless. Mm. Take a sip of my coffee while the shrine activates. Life is good, guys. Oh my gosh, the coaster stuck to the bottom of the cup and I didn't realize. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Which which shrine are we dealing with here? Because I don't remember it at all. I do, I do like these hidden shrines inside the mountains, though. They're kind of fun to uh, discover. Alright, what do we got? A minor test of strength. <laughs> Easiest shrine of my life. No chests, no problem. These guys are literally less HP than the Shrine Guardians that are just regularly in the Shrine. Ooh, nice Battle Axe. I'll take that. Oh. Alright, so you're a little nimble. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, that was close, boy. I guess I'll use these weak weapons on you. Yeah, look at that. His health is going down and these are the weakest weapons I have, dude. Too easy! Oh man! You're dealing with a Bloodborne Master! You're, you're dealing with the Dark Souls Master! You're dealing with Sekiro Master! Okay, Sekiro was a bit harder, but... Oh! 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 We're just getting rid of all of our junk weapons is what we're doing. No? No? One more? No, no, no. Got him. <sighs> Untouched. I'll take that. Woo, that looks beautiful. We're getting too many two-handed weapons. That's the only downside. I only have one or two one-handed weapons. I'm kind of saving the stupidly powerful ones, but... If we get into a type of situation where there's like multiple silver boys, we might have to bust out the big guns. And it's alright because I gotta drop one of these shields. I, I like this the silver shield. So we're we're not gonna drop it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna We can always get more weapons and shields if we desperately need from all of my amiibos. So all right, easy shrine, easy orb, great way to start out the episode. As per the usual, pretty much lately, I've been getting a shrine like in the first 10 minutes or so. All right. Da, 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 da. Six orbs, full health, two more to get two more heart containers. Let's look for more shrines, but before we do that, there's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is we need to go to Hateno Ancient Tech Lab and fully upgrade the Sheikah Slate so that my stasis is stasis plus, because I'm pretty sure we have enough cores to do that. This place does look pretty cool and all, and I do want to explore it, but we're going to have to come back. What is this? Oh, the, I'm, I'm tracking the Zora quest, that's why. I don't actually want to do that. I'll just put it back to... Uh... Oh, I need to go talk to Impa as well, so we'll do that. So let's go to Hateno first? No, let's go to Impa first. I kind of want to dye my uh, clothes again. <laughs> I'm already getting bored of the orange. I kind of want to trade change colors. On my uh, Sheikah set. And then after we talk to Impa. Because I think she'll give us the Champion's Tunic. I don't remember if we have to uh, find one memory first. Or just like start the memories quest. And the Champion's Tunic is kind of cool. Because it allows you to see the, the health of enemies. Like the actual number of HP. Alright. And we're going to go talk to my uh, other girlfriend over here. Pira. 
we gotta make a visit to Pura every now and then, you know what I mean? Should I pick up another heart container while we're here? Pick up another heart container while we're here from the Bib statue. Da 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 da. Was that eight? Ugh, eight hearts, man. We are killing it. Oh, he's got a quest. Are you a fellow traveler? I love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants me to take a picture of the great fairy fountain. Yeah. We can do that. I don't remember what he gives me. Yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Alright, let's go talk to uh, Impa. Go take these uh, offerings of apples that she so generously left for me. I'm here! Oh, hello. Uh, before I talk to you, Impa. What's up, Pira? Paya, Paya. I called her Pira! <laughs> Paya! Ah, I knew you were, you were Paya, not Pira. My bad. I get all the girls in my life confused. M -m Master Link! Uh. Is there anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help in any way? Um. What's your story, Paya? You, I, uh, me? <laughs> you want to know my st t story? Well, my name is Paya. The, the reason I was named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a p Paya seed. Really, though? And, well, in any case, p please don't hesitate to let me know if I can ever be of service. G good luck. <laughs> Pia, so cute. Alright, Impa. Wake up, old lady. Wake up! Ah. Now then, let me see. Aha! This is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Do you guys realize that in this game, Breath of the Wild, they actually created two versions of Hyrule. They created the version of 100 years ago, and they created this version that we actually play in. Think about it. Because all the pictures and cutscenes and everything that you see of the 100 years ago, they actually completely built that that world, at least around the castle. Which makes me wonder if Breath of the Wild is actually going to use that world. Like, if it will actually be... It's a, it's a sequel, but I wonder if it will actually be taking place 100 years ago before Calamity Ganon did all that stuff. I don't know, just, just a thought. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tr tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I wish to give you. Okay, so we do have to go to at least one location, and then she'll give us the champion's tunic. Alright. Oh my gosh, that is a cute little Sheikah kid with, with gray hair already. Uh, there's the inn. Is this the place where we dye our clothes over here? Or is this like the general... Okay, we got giant arrows in a giant pot. Okay, I just had to try. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're pretty good on arrows. Oh, she got a quest? That's right, my good man. I knew it the moment I saw you. I had you figured out for one heck of an archer. And I'm head over heels for a fine slice of man that can use a bow. So, how about it? Why not take out that bow and show me something special? Lady, I'm I'm not 18. You got it! I like your attitude. All you gotta do is light the torches by the goddess statue. Alright. Yep, yep. Okay. Arrows of burning heat. I swear those torches were lit just a moment ago. Wasting my arrows. 
for this crazy lady who doesn't get enough attention from her husband. I mean, I guess I could go pick those arrows back up, but whatever. We got over a hundred arrows. Oh. Hey, kid, I saw you. You were amazing. Boy, what a shot in the heart that was. Oh. My husband's a fine archer himself. But, we're living apart right now. <laughs> that explains a lot. This feeling, it's been so, so long. Oh. I'm so excited right now. That really was something special to see. In fact, here, a token of my thanks. Okay. Oh. If only my husband hadn't become obsessed with cuckoos, and had kept with his archery skills, if only. Wow. Sounds like you're in a very depressed relationship, lady. Uh, can I just take some arrows and be on my way? Alright, thanks. Thanks. Bomb arrows? Oh, fire arrows. I have zero fire arrows, oh. so yeah, let's just take them both. Why not? Oh. Alright, I'm out of here, lady. Kinda creepy old lady, too. Uh, we got cooking. I don't really need cooking. Uh, oh, another quest? Man, there's quests everywhere. Oh my gosh, Coco, you are so cute. Today's dinner is veggie cream soup. It's super nourishing and fortifying. Well, that's what they say anyway, so it must be true. All you have to do is to it, toss in a swift carrot, rock salt, and fresh milk. Do I have a swift carrot? Coco's Kitchen! Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, I already have one. Here you go. Oh, you're making dinner for Kotla. Alright. I wanted to see her doing the cooking. Ooh, it came out perfect. Here, please have some Coco's treat. Alright. Awesome, thank you. That was an easy quest. Alright. Onward to mail! No. Uh, I actually want to uh, dye my clothes. Yeah. New clothes! Cute outfits! Okay, okay. Where's the new clothes? These are the same old clothes. Okay, bye. Another quest? How could this happen? Sir, Sir Link! My cuckoos! Wait, are you the husband? My precious cuckoos. <laughs> They haven't come home yet! Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support! Wow, you guys just really need to talk to each other, man. He wants his cuckoos because his wife won't give him attention, and his wife won't give him attention because he wants his cuckoos. Okay. Oh gosh, she's getting ferocious. I'll go find them. Really? You guys just need a little bit of love in your life. I have 10 cuckoos. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Yeah, we'll do that. In a minute. Gosh, I gotta help everybody in this town. Where's the armor die person? I know it's in this town somewhere. It is this town, right? It's not Hateto Village that the armor die is in? I actually don't. I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Maybe not. I, I'm not really seeing it. I'm probably blind. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we're going to uh, Hateto. Yep. See you guys. We're going to Hateto Ancient Tech Lab. We'll do all these uh, quests here a little bit later. I don't want to get sidetracked doing those quests because every single episode I'm like, oh yeah, we need to go to Hateto Ancient Tech Lab and upgrade our Shika Slate so I can get spaces. And then I just never do because I always get sidetracked because this game has a billion, million things that it wants me to do. All right. Wow. Look at that. Kind of weird frog. Okay. 
Kira. Snip snap. Stasis. Yes. Three ancient cores. Snap. Snappity snap. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, boys. Final Sheikah Slate upgrade other than uh, the Master Cycle of course. Boom! How come I can't get Magnesis Plus, you know? Or Cryonis Plus. Cryonis Plus should allow you to create like more, more Pillars of Ice or something. And Magnesis Plus, I don't even know what that would do. Just longer range maybe would be nice. Just a little bit longer range. What's this? You went and powered them up all? All up? Well, I suppose your Sheikah Slate and your legendary swordsmanship, we have nothing to fear. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, wait, wait to bring it right there. Oh. Did you just shut the doors of my face? Rude. All right. Oh man, look at this view, guys. Holy cow, look at this view. Wow. And we are off. Ha! Do it! What are you looking at? Oh my gosh. Why are your eyes so close together? Uh, hey, hey, yo, uh, Sage. Can we, uh, can we dye our armor one more time, bud? Let's dye it again. Uh, let's change our clothes. Let's do the Sheikah set again. Orange is cool and all, but you know, I'm, I'm always down for a change. It's a new week, new color. Let's see. That one actually looks really good, sage. Or no, blue. Not bad. Purple peach. Oh, pig looks. Not bad, actually. Crimson. Light yellow, brown, gray. Ooh. Navy looks pretty, pretty dang good, too. I really like green for some reason. I don't know why. Red. I really like yellow as well. I know it's pretty close to orange, but yellow just stands out so much. And black. I actually really like the blue. What do you guys think? Yellow just is so poppy. It just pops right in your face. Mmm... I don't even remember what the default colors for this look like. I think it's kind of like a dark blue, so I don't want to make it too close to default. But I'm supposed to be sneaking around in this outfit, so... Maybe like a... Could just go black. Black's boring though, right? Just because... Like, you can't see the, the clothes as easily. Um, I think I'm just gonna do, uh... Blue. This time. Yeah. Uh, if I can. Let's just use those because it literally says the <laughs> its usefulness isn't readily apparent. No, it's useful as blue dye. <laughs> and now, hold your breath. Amazing. Actually, that looks really good. 
You know what we did not do, guys? I have not done my uh, soldier's armor. Should we, uh, should we dye this, even though I never really use it? I think so. I think the answer is yes. We're at the end of this episode, but I want to at least dye this armor. Oh, it doesn't even change the color of the armor, just your undergarment. Actually, it does change some of the armor, the, the highlights. At least black does. Only certain colors change the actual armor. Only black. Did you guys see that? Only black, actually, it, it, it reverses the colors. Like, the accents are dark on this, and then they're white on this. So because of that, I'm actually gonna do do this one. Oh man. Oh okay, flint. Anything else I could use? Nope. All right, let's do flint. Just to make it uh, a little more unique. <laughs> Even though he's done it like. Four times, Link is always so uh, surprised when, it, when this happens. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Thank you, dude. Alright, we're looking pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So, we're just doing errands this quest, I guess. That's an awesome sunset. We had a, we had a great day. Even though this, this episode went by kind of fast, at least it did for me. We did a shrine, we went back to some villages, we, we, we did some stuff, we we had a good time, at least I did. I, I think we did it all in one day too, which is kind of cool. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, as always, I hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian Sword, take it easy guys.